Hi, my name is Alex from ComSource in Melbourne, and today I'm going to walk you through basic functionality of our Cloud PBX system. There are several ways in which you could set up your voicemail. Firstly, press the message button. Please enter your access code. The access code is the extension in which you're calling from. This is the main menu of the mailbox. To hear your messages, press 1. To change your access code, press 2. To record your name, press 3. To record a personal welcome message, press 4. Press 4. To record a message, please record your greeting after the tone. Press the hash key to finish the recording. This is Alex. I'm sorry I'm not available to take your call right now. If you please leave your name and number, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. To listen to your recording, press 1. To use your recording, press 2. This is the main menu of the mailbox. Nothing else? Just hang up. As you can see from the flashing red light and the icon on the screen, I have a voicemail. I'm now going to show you how to check the voicemail. Press the message button. Please enter your access code. The access code is the extension that you're dialing in from. You have one new message, message number one. Hi Alex, please call me back on 1300 882 896. Thank you. End of message. To repeat, press 4. To delete, press 7. Message deleted. This is the main menu of the mailbox. And just hang up afterwards. You may prefer to have your voicemail messages sent to your email account. I'm now going to show you how to activate voicemail to email. Simply press star 95 followed by the hash key to activate. The system will forward voice messages via email. And to deactivate this, simply press star 96, followed by the hash key. The system will store voice messages for retrieval by phone. I'm now going to show you how to redial the last number called from your phone. Simply press star 66, followed by the hash key. Consource. For customer service, I'm now going to show you how easy it is to transfer an incoming call to another desk. Alex speaking. Alright, I'll transfer you over now. Simply press the transfer button. Dial in the extension that you'd like to transfer the call to. And press hash. Are you able to take a call from a customer? All right. All right, I'll transfer them over now. And simply press transfer. I'm now going to show you how to forward all calls to another number. Simply press star 72, followed by the extension. Finish with the hash key. You have set call forward for all calls to number four, zero. Zero. I'll now show you how to deactivate this. Simply press star 73 followed by the hash key. Call forward for all calls has been disabled. I'm now going to show you how to activate the Do Not Disturb feature. This can be used for when you do not want to receive any calls for a period of time. Simply press the Do Not Disturb button just here. And as you can see by the stop sign, up top, no calls will come through. To deactivate this feature, simply press the Do Not Disturb button again. I'm now going to show you how to deactivate caller ID so the person you are calling cannot see your number. Simply press star 31 followed by the hash key. Your caller ID will be blocked on outgoing calls. I'll now show you how to reactivate caller ID so people that you are calling can see your number. Simply press star 41 followed by the hash key. Your caller ID will be visible on outgoing calls. 